Hi again, everybody. I'm Mike Goldberg. Welcome once again to the Ultimate Fighting Championship. We have an incredible night of fights in store for you this evening, highlighted by a main event everyone is talking about. With me for the fights tonight again, my partner Joe Rogan. Joe, the fans are pumped up. Oh, yeah, and they should be, Mike. Looking at this fight on paper, it's very tough to call. I mean, they're both extremely well-rounded and in the best shape that we've ever seen them in. This is one of those matchups where anything can happen. Well, we will soon find out who will prevail in our main event of the evening. But before we officially get the night started, let's take a quick look at the rules of the Octagon. Three judges will score the bout, the bout duration three five-minute rounds. There are no championship fights on the card tonight. A 10-point must scoring system is in effect, with the round winner gaining 10 points, his opponent nine or less, based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and octagon control. We begin our night with a heavyweight collision between the ultra-popular Brock Lesnar and Kevin, the Monster Randleman. Former UFC heavyweight title holder, Kevin, the Monster Randleman, is an athletic specimen. A fast and powerful wrestler with nearly unstoppable takedowns, he'll be looking to utilize his patented ground and pound to smash his way to victory tonight. A collegiate wrestling champion turned sports entertainer, Brock Lesnar's unrivaled athletic ability led him to the UFC, where he quickly won the heavyweight championship. Tonight, he'll be looking to charge through one more opponent and solidify his position as one of the most dominant heavyweights ever. and gentlemen, we are live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Yeah. And now, it's time to begin our first bout of the evening. Three rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall. Weighing in at 205 pounds, fighting out of Columbus, Ohio, Kevin the Monster Randleman. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a wrestler. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota. Run! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Josh Rosenthal. Gentlemen, ready? Ready? 
Let's fight. your fight, you got to take him down, you got to impose your will because you're a bigger, stronger guy, all right? Get him down and keep him down. You want this fight? You gonna go win, win this, this round? round? You, you got to win fight. this round. You win this round, you got this fight. Listen to me. Don't crowd him. Relax. Don't go for the big hook. Use the right hand. Hook right hand, jab right hand. You gotta punish him this time. Breathe. All right. Go to the body and press him back. Breathe. Gentlemen, you ready? You ready? Let's fight. Nice. Pull on the hip, kick 
him away. Push that knee and go past it. There you go, nice. Hey, that's close. You don't sit there and judge it, all right? You go out there and just keep fighting hard. Hey, you can beat him. Heavy hands for me. Heavy hands for me, all right? Have right? You feel him open that guard. Bring out that combat knee. Get yourself, okay? You start working. You start working that knee. this fight. Get it over with. He is not as good as you. Gentlemen, you ready? You ready? Let's fight! Last round! <laughs> Kick to the middle. Punch his face. Beautiful. Way to work. We can put some possession here, bud. Control his hands. There we go. Game plan, buddy. Nice, nice. There you go, nice. Perfect. Yes. Sit down, nice and tight. Stand there, right up. Stick shit. All right, turn around. You won't come far. Stand in the middle.
Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score it 29, 28, 29, 28, and 29, 28, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Kevin the Monster Randoman. a heavyweight collision between Alistair Overeem and Mark Hunt. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 44 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Mark Super Samoan Hines.
John Jones skyrocketed to popularity when he gave UFC fans a series of spectacular victories. He's established himself as a respected, well-rounded fighter capable of delivering both knockout shots and expert submissions. Starting his pro career with a staggering amount of quick knockout victories, Travis Brown is a big heavyweight striker with tremendous power and accomplished grappling skills. He'll be looking to connect with some of that heavy leather tonight. This fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the current UFC heavyweight champion of the world, John And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 255 pounds. Fighting out of San Diego, California, Alexander Drago Volta. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Mario Yamasaki. Ooh. 
six. Let your hold go. That liver kick's working. Everything you're doing is working. He's loading up. He's trying to take you out with one. You don't get the takedown. You're going back to the strikes. You're looking perfect. And look, you got to run down. Just pull his knee. Give me the deep thrust, man. You're looking good. That's a nice. Don't vary from the game plan. Are you paying attention to me? Don't vary from the game plan, right? Here you go, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go, come on. Just keep looking at it. Where's the hands? There you go. Take him down. One, one, two, one. Push forward, push forward. Don't retreat. Big and calm Those uh, hands up inside. The, the leg kicks are there. All right, the leg kicks are there. And three twos. All right, three two. Bring the rear. Ready all right, to go. All right. ready to go. From start to finish. On hey, this. you're never against the cage. You turn them. I want your knee in. Or hey, look it. Just world. score. All you need to do is score. You score with that takedown. You score Harder. with your jab. Mix up your jabs a lot more. Okay.
I need you to circle left and stay aggressive. Get that leg kick going. Get that leg kick. Here you go, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go. Come on. We got five minutes. We're done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 29 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO, John Bones! It's our co-main event of the evening, a heavyweight collision between Dan Severn and the man who possesses some of the most lethal kicks in mixed martial arts history, Mirko Kroka. When once asked how hard he kicks, Mirko Kroka simply replied, right leg hospital, left leg cemetery. A southpaw K1 striker with a world famous high kick, Krokop's MMA career has delivered countless highlight reel knockouts. Tonight, fight fans around the world are hoping to see one more. A Greco-Roman wrestler and MMA pioneer, Dan the Beast Severn is one of the most accomplished athletes the Octagon has ever seen. The winner of two UFC tournaments, this powerful grappler will be looking to add one more victory to his impressive career here tonight.
ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Three rounds of fighting in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a striker. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 235 pounds. Fighting out of Zagreb, Croatia. This man is a former Grand Prix champion of pride. Yes, and yo, Biggie Boy, Rose and Strike! And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a submission wrestler. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds, fighting out of cold water, Michigan. Presenting the legendary UFC Hall of Fame Octagon Warrior, Alexander the Experiment Guerrero! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Josh Rosenthal. Gentlemen, you ready? You ready? Let's fight! Now, on the ground, you can catch him all day long in that triangle in that armbar. You can catch him all day long in it, okay? You good? Okay, he's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that figure four. Okay, push the pace. Push the pace on him. Good? He gets that back, you fight that two on one. If he gets that body lock, you gotta fight it off. You gotta refund him. Gentlemen, you ready? You ready? Let's fight! Stick to the game 
His legs are tired from trying to hold that figure four. Jay, push the pace. If he gets that back, you fight that two on one. If he gets that body lock, you gotta fight it off. And you swim that arm over. You swim that arm over. Yes. Sets up, you get hands in his face fast. Fast. All right, hard hands in his face. Gentlemen, you ready? You ready? Let's fight!
control. There we go. Stop. That's it. It's over. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score it 29, 28, 29, 28, and 29, 28, declaring the winner by unanimous decision. Yes, in yo, Biggie Boy, Rosenstein! for our main event of the evening. Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between national wrestling champion, Cain Velasquez, and former pride champion, the Brazilian, Antonio Minotauro Nogueira. Legendary for his unbreakable will, iron chin, and world-class jiu-jitsu, Antonio Rodrigo Nogueira has been fighting the top heavyweights on the planet for over a decade. Tonight, he'll be looking to show why he's still one of the most feared heavyweight submission artists. A heavyweight with surprising speed and tremendous power, Cain Velasquez has won almost every fight in his career the same way by devastating knockout. Tonight, he'll be looking to let his hands go and show why he's one of the most dominant strikers on the planet. Gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And now, live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Three rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands six feet, three inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Jail Khan Mahaya Jail And now, fighting out of the red corner. 
This man is a wrestler and a kickboxer. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, Kane Volokhin! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? Come on, let's do it. On the ground, you can catch him all day long in that triangle and that armbar. You can catch him all day long in it, okay? You good? Okay, he's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that figure four. Okay, push the pace. Push the pace on him. Good? Hey, five minutes of hell, tighten your punches up. The uppercut is there all day, but you got to bring something behind it. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? Come on, let's do it. Work your angles. I want two more. Make it worse, make it worse. In and out, in and out, shake your face. Put the pressure on now. 
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 11 seconds of the second round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Kane Take a look at tonight's fight of the night. Yeah, I was really looking forward to this fight, and I think it lived up to the hype. Both of these guys showed a lot of heart. This was an excellent fight, and I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a rematch down the line.